Right, hello. Today I'm playing a game. Right. And it's called... It's called your mum. No, not really. It's called RPG MO. It's not a very imaginative title. But it is a title. And if you can hear some kids in the background. That's my little sister's friends. Wow. They are noisy as all shit. Holy crap. We might have some screaming in this one. There might be some screaming in this video guys. But that's what this channel is about. It's about screaming. So anyway I just started playing this game. A couple of days ago. Spent a few hours on it. And I'm getting some like classic RuneScape vibes from it. Which is good. It's very nostalgic. You got all your skills look. Like your wood cutting and fletching. Mining and fishing and farming. Wow guys, can you hear them? Can you can you hear her? Can you hear my little sister and her friends in the background? It doesn't matter where you try and do a video at all. You will be able to hear them. You can not get away from them. It is impossible. So we got we got some armor. Got some lovely bronze pants and bronze boots. Bone armor and a bone shield to go along with it, and some bone gloves, some greaves, and I've also got a blue cape. Yes, we've got cooked salmon, hayseed, kombu seaweed, a tomato, or as you people like to say, tomato, but I say tomato because I'm from England. Yes, I'm in England, but I'm also in Wales and Scotland at the same time. I'm in all three of those places at once. So, we're going to eat this tomato, or should I say tomato, or, or maybe both at the same time. We've got a little mine nearby, look, and I think I've actually got an iron pickaxe with me, so I'm going to want to quit my weapon and quit this instead and I found on this game a good thing to do for a bit of cash is just to stand idly by and just you know go AFK for a minute or two and let the inventory fill up with tin or copper's good and as you can see over here on the log it um, automatically mines uh, tin I mean not like consistently every now and again you'll fail to mine one like like now for example and uh, I failed again but uh, every now and again you'll get some tin out of it so when you've you know when I've gathered like half an inventory's worth take it uh, back up to the surface and you can make a, a nice quick book off it you know make some nice GP and then after you get the GP you get the women and then after you get the women you get the power So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll do for now. That'll do for now. And then what I do is go back up the ladder back to the surface. And over here, there is a chest. And you can access like a PvP uh, market. And so we want to deposit all of our tin that we just got. And then go to the market and hopefully if we go and sell materials there should be some tin there is there's tin there's a there's a buy order for 35 and there's another order for 36 I'm gonna go for the one that's more valuable 
put down all six of my tin ores and then sell it all. So there we go, 216 coins. Voila. Oh wow, look at this lot. According to my chest I've got 8,755 coins and according to my inventory I've got 8,971. This has yet to update, oh dear. Wait, is that... Ah, now it's updated, cool, to the latest amount. Okay, so... Another thing we can do, probably, is put, uh, sell this uh, spare bit of chain mail that I've, I've looted. Which is good. Uh, cool, got some salmon. So another thing we can do as well on this game as well, just like classic RuneScape, is we can uh, get some, we can do some, well, cut some trees down, but they don't actually get cut down. You've just got to imagine that they do. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I cut your mom and I bang your dad. And as you can see as well, there's a bit of a double XP event going on for three hours as well, which is not bad. The other bone, the other uh, double XP bonuses I was getting the other day was only like for ten or fifteen minutes or so, but this one's for three hours it seems. So we can get some fir logs because this is a fir tree. Well, see, you've got fur logs here, so you can infer that we're getting them from a fir tree. Get it? You can infer that. Get it? You don't fucking get it, do you? Fuck you. So anyway, we can get a, a, a fairly decent amount um, from this. Rather than trying to use it for crafting, I'm just going to sell it, because, you know, because I just like to sell stuff. That's just me. Uh, if there's any orders for them, that is. There's no no guarantee that, you know, anyone will like, they, they want willow logs, and they want fur, oh, 110, that's not bad. The other day, I only had offers of, like, 60 for this. So I reckon I should perhaps um, just farm some of um, farm for some fur logs because they're going for 110 gold coins a pop, so that's not too bad. Considering it only takes like five ten seconds to get each one, I should be able to make a tidy sum. Better be quick though, for all the offers are gone. Because if you actually go to an NPC, the fur logs only go for well, as you can see. Um, in the uh, center at the top under fur log the item description it says that it has a value of 10 gold coins so considering that they fetch 110 in the player market that's not too bad so that's another cool thing you can do you can do some farming in this game as well obviously and obviously you can buy shit you got you got some uh, equipment bonuses here look as you can see I've got 112 armor no power whatsoever. I'm a puff. Some uh, boosts to aim and a bit of speed. So, how many have I got now? So, we've got eight now. Eight lots of logs. So that's 880 gold coins right there. There's 990. So if I can sell all these, that's just essentially a grand. Just about a grand's worth there. And it only took a minute or two, so yeah, that's, that's not bad. Uh, it's, ooh, yeah, there we are. Oh, there's furlough's going for 50. There was one going for 110 again. That's cool. So that, yeah, 1,100 because it turns out I actually had a tenth log as well, so that's good. So there's another grand there. Yep, 10,926. And then, as you can see, if you've got enough cash, you can visit various uh, shopkeepers like this this one here. So we various uh, pieces of armor. But for whatever reason, he doesn't have anything available right now. I'm not, I'm not sure how to actually make 
his wares available. This one here just sells weapons, but again, nothing available for whatever reason. This guy sells uh, magic items, wizard hat and robe, various spell tomes and wands and what, what not. And he probably sells various um, lads magazines as well. I think he does. This guy uh, sells, I think, pets of some sort. Uh, lumberjack guy. This guy sells various uh, furnishings, I think. Ooh, chests, actually. He sells, you can have spare chests laying around, that's not bad. Didn't actually realise that. You can kill your cows here, you can kill some cows if you want. They they drop um Oh they drop um aphrodisiacs sometimes. I've I've uh, had a few Viagra pills um being dropped as loot, which is nice because the Viagra pills sell for about um six trillion per pill on this game, so that's not bad. In fact, I had um, I had about um, 68 trillion on this last time, but I spent them all on tomatoes. Yeah, I bought um, 313 trillion um, tomatoes, just like in bulk. That is a very true, accurate story. As you can see, this one here dropped an, a shield. Which is very, very uh, unsuitable for children. Very, very sexy. Very NSFW. And so as you go out further, the enemies become a lot tougher. So like my overall level, I'm not sure, I think that's just like an average of all my skills. As you can see next to my name in brackets, is 32. So you can compare it to the enemy's levels, like this one over here is 25. So yeah, that should be you know, conquerable. And that he's 21, so it'll be slightly easier. These guys I haven't... Uh, I, well, I tried to fight one once, but I had to run away because it wasn't really working out so well. But I should be able to fight those guys pretty soon. The Mind Tor Maze, yeah. These guys aren't so bad. Dragonflies, they're, they're uh, pufters at the moment. Let's eat one of these tomatoes. If I can. No, I can't yet because I'm in combat. Now I can. And we've also got uh, ape men over here as well. And all these, these ape men, they kind of just look like my dad. Even though I haven't seen my dad since I was about one years old, but anyway, about a year old. Um, hmm, bollocks! Didn't mean to attack that one. Oh, I can't even be bothered to attack him. They just take ages. Come on, just kill him already. Oh, my health's about to level up soon. About to get an extra point of health, which is very nice. Very unsuitable for kids. Alright, great. Okay. Uh, apparently I can use this weapon for... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this whole time I was using my uh, woodcutter's axe. So there's some silver here, but you need uh, 25 mining to get those. And I, I don't believe I'm good enough for that yet. No, I've only got 15. So... Not yet, but in time, in time. There's some golems around here, so... 26, I should be able to kill these. The iron golems I'm not so sure about, because they're level 48. Reckon I'll leave those for a bit. Just try and take advantage of this double XP event going on. Kill this bronze golem. And... Yeah, I think to finish this little light like, first impression video I'll just 
travel to a few different locations. Kill this orc mage. Because, um, yeah, if you go to the different uh, corners of the map, you'll see um, these traveller's signs. And if you interact with them, you can actually travel to a different location. Which I think is very, very stimulating. I find the concept of that fast travel to different locations, I find that to be very dangerously stimulating, to be honest. So yeah, I'm in uh, Dorpat at the moment. And that's uh, that's the world map. It's pretty, uh, pretty sizable. We drag us down a little bit, you can see it properly. So if I carry on uh, south a little bit, or kind of like southwest, there's a place here for fishing. Travel to Wyland leads to Pack Blood and No Man's Land. And I have not been there yet, so if we try and avoid that, because I can't even be asked. Right, there we are. A little outpost there, the campfire. I don't know if I've got any raw meat. No, fuck it. So let's check out this pack blood place. So these are one of the uh, traveller's signs. And what have we got here? We've got... Bol Boletus, Boletus, I don't know. Is that... Uh, oh, we've got deer. Okay. Let's kill some deer. More fir trees and um, magic shrooms as well. We've got some shrooms, okay. So this is an interesting place. Very, um, you know, stimulating. Makes me feel very hot under the collar, this place. There's something about it that's just so alluring. I, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but it's very overwhelming. I think I'm have to go see a doctor, or actually go see a GP, because it, it's giving me a bit of a fever, to be honest. Lots of mushrooms. I'm not getting anything from them yet, though. Oh, there's a dark shroom here. Okay then. Dark shroom. Okay. Oh, he dropped some. He actually dropped uh, a black shroom which can be used in alchemy, actually. I've yet to even try alchemy on this game. So let's yep, kill one more deer. And that was just a first look at the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it made me quite nostalgic. It reminded me of old old RuneScape. I like the, the isometric style. It's very nice. The controls are a bit hard to get used to at first, but now I'm, I'm pretty much used to them. And it's a very grindy game, but do you know what? I kind of like it. I kind of like grinding in games. I don't know why. I just, I just like it. I like, I like, you know, nice, slow character progression. I like it. When you can finally kick everything's ass, it feels all the more rewarded, all the more rewarding, if you put in the hours of grinding. You know. Okay, one more kill, and then it's over. eat the tomato okay you have a good day and um, remember to watch your weight okay watch your weight don't get too fat okay <laughs>